Let us now understand certain factors which affect evaporation. The first and the foremost is the temperature. Now we all know that all the liquids or most of them have a certain boiling point. What is boiling point? As discussed earlier, boiling point is the temperature at which these liquids turn into gases. Okay? So as the temperature increases and it reaches the boiling point, this liquid starts con converting into gases. So the first point which affects evaporation is the temperature. So higher the temperature higher is the rate of evaporation. Okay, so if the temperature is 80 degree, let's say, the water which will evaporate is let's say 100 ml, at 100 degree it might be 140. So the increase in the temperature results in increase in the rate of evaporation. When I say 100 ml or 140 ml, what I mean is 100 ml may be per minute. This is also per minute. So the time remains constant. The quantity or the volume increases as the temperature increases. The second quality or the factor which affects evaporation is the surface area. Now, have you ever seen that, you know, if there is a small vessel in which let's say there are two vessels one is the small one and the other one is the big one now the surface area basically refers to this area from where the evaporation will take place so if this area is small let's say this is something like this let me just redraw this for you let's say there were two containers one with a bigger surface area and the other one with a smaller surface area and both contained equal amount of liquid. So when the evaporation takes place, it takes place from this area which is known as the surface area. So if this area is more, then the rate of evaporation is more. Why? Because there is more space for these particles of liquid to move out. So higher the surface area, more is the rate of evaporation. And this you would have seen. How? If, if it rains, okay, let's say it rains. And it falls on your terrace. The water from the terrace as sun comes out, goes out pretty fast. Vis-a-vis -vis the water which is going to remain in small blocks at your house. Why? Because the surface area of the terrace is much more and therefore it gives the flexibility for high rate of evaporation. The third factor affecting this is humidity or extent of water in So normally also, you know, the air that flows around carries a little bit of water in it in the form of vapors and all. So that's why if you would have seen, if you go along a seaside or a pond or a lake, the air which blows there is a little cold vis-a-vis -vis what you might have at your house. Or when it rains also, then it becomes a little cold. The reason for that is the humidity. And humidity is basically the extent of water or vapor present in the air. Okay, so when the humidity is high, 
evaporation is low and when humidity is low evaporation is high. Now let me tell you what is the reason for this. The reason is basically that when it is more and more humid then the temperature of any particular thing which is there let's say the surface of this or any other place where you know you're trying to heat this will go a little low and as it is low it will require more amount of heat to get to the normal temperature okay let's see the fourth reason wind and its speed now insofar as the wind is concerned higher speed results in higher evaporation This is because as the wind speed is higher, the particles of water which are available move fast. And as they move out fast, the evaporation increases. Okay?